Hey everyone, Mac is back. Uh, today I want to talk about, I just want to go over some, uh, some general tips. So I want to just, uh, just some basic stuff, some stuff maybe you do know, maybe you don't know. Um, but uh, like I said, just general stuff. There's been a little bit of a, a changing up here with uh, how things have been aligned. Um, I've gone over that before and uh, many other chronicles have as well and if you haven't checked theirs check their work out as well because uh, a lot of chroniclers put a you know put a lot of effort into just uh, you know putting their videos together or doing some research and actually collaborating with each other to um, you know to put out some, some good content so um, but I just want to do some uh, some general tips today um, shouldn't take very long but uh, we'll we'll get into it so one of the uh, first tips that I want to give you is um, so in when this when this event comes around the um, so right now it's called the Gates of Fate because uh, that is the new skin that they just recently came out with. And this Gates of Fate has uh, infantry attack of 30%, total defense of 10%, and enemy army um, attack reduction of 10%, I believe is what it is. I'm pretty sure it's attack, attack reduction. And that, and that also gives you a rally size of 10%, or sorry, 10,000, and your total defense of uh, plus 5. So if you have an infantry front line, this is actually pretty good for that. Um, because you're, you're getting the total defense for that. You're also getting the enemy um, area attack reduction if you're right beside them. Um, you're also getting uh, total defense when you have it, uh, the own bonus, and then also your rally size expansions. That's really, really good. Um, highly recommend that. However, what I want, want to suggest is that in this Gates of Fate here, obviously you have this wheel. You, they give you a uh, free draw every day for, I believe, yeah, it'll be three days because it'll be done after today. And um, and you can draw more of them. So you can go in here and you can buy you can buy three here, and I believe you can buy five or six, something like that. So you're going to total like nine or ten. So um, when you make sure you get these, um, you know, it's going to cost you diamonds, but twenty. I think it's uh, maybe it is seven here and seven and two, uh, or seven and three, which would be ten. I think there's ten here, something like that. Regardless, make sure you do it. It's going to be it's a lot of diamonds to do it, blue diamonds, but it's definitely worth it if you're a, a small or medium spender. Um, the, the way you want to do this is, as for the very beginning, I would say, um, don't, don't, don't buy them one for one here. Um, I'll tell you where to do that if you're going to do that. Um, and if you click out of here, you go on, it's usually the very first pack as you come up here and see, and you can get the, uh, the books of the, of the Holy Prayer from here. Now, the reason you do that is because look, if they, this is going to cost you, um, you know, 100 black diamonds, you know, in the U S that's a, that's $10. Uh, but it's but it's but it's one to one basically you're already paying the same for the other one you know for the previous uh, uh, the previous um, or the uh, si the solo basically the single book of prayer so it's one you get one of these for you know ten black diamonds basically is what you were get you were getting well you're gonna get that plus you're gonna get everything else here so um, I know that was a very long way of saying that but uh, just make sure that you if you're gonna do it you're gonna if you're gonna spend the, uh, spend the money to do this. Make sure you get the pack, the packs in here, because um, they give you more value, way, way more value. Um, you can only get so many of them. I believe it's like three or four, and they get, they do get increasingly expensive. But you do get more of these uh, books of prayer uh, as well. But when, so when you're finished, um, and if you have those, um, your your feeling or your tendency is to scroll down to the bottom and look at what you can get. So um, you you know you can get a bunch of I mean this is where most I, I this is where I went for so many for so long of a time because um, you get 60 minutes you, know, you get one hour there's 15 of them so that's 15 hours of speed ups just from one to one of those one of those uh, seven pointed stars that you get when you spin the wheel so um, you're almost getting you're, or you are getting double of um, you know rewards here so when you do spin this wheel so if you buy them like I have 106 <clears throat> basically at 106 spins on here so all those 106 spins I got something from this wheel and then the fortune shop you get another 106 of whatever you want here um, well coin wise based on the value because obviously if they're going to spend two it's only going to get half of what you want to get so you can see the rebel group chest don't get that you see the gold nope don't get that and the re one of the kind of basics of these the tips that I'm giving you now is you know if you can get it in the game for free or somewhere else it's probably not worth getting it not all the time but most likely it's not so if we scroll up a little further we have a badge chest now that would be that would be something I you know that I would look into getting so I could get 50 of these you know um, these gold badge chests for common to legendary that wouldn't be a bad one to go after you have a friendship chest uh, I mean that's that's good but you, you do you get those quite often uh, main material yeah you kind of get them a little bit as well um, and I 
I would suggest save up. You know, it's a thousand, man. That's a lot, right? A thousand is a lot. But if you know, if you save up a hundred, or maybe even, you know, next time it comes around, and maybe in six months or whatever, you'll be able to uh, you save up to a thousand of them. And if you do that, you get a full, uh, you know, a permanent castle skin. And it, and it really just depends on what your, um, you know, what you what your formations are, what you want to get. Um, however, the ones I suggest would be these two here. They, they definitely seem to be the two of the better ones. Um, the City of, City of Stars gives you that 20% total attack plus army size, rally size, um, health reduction, and total defense. And then another, the other one down here, which is the Sunken, uh, the sunken City, gives you the 30,000 uh, 30, army size um, plus total attack 10%, well actually 15% because you're getting the owned one, and then total health of 5%, and then any army um, health reduction, I think it's health reduction in this one, of another 10%. Those two are the really, really good ones. If you want to get more specific, and the reason I say you get those is you can disguise your, your, your formation as well, because if you pull in, if you end up getting the Revival of Wonders, then you then they know you're going to have probably either a spear front line or spear second line regardless one or the other that you're going to have it so they know that they have to put infantry in there to counter you if you want to get this one it's not a bad one either 10 percent total attack total health and um, army size and rally size which is actually pretty good so um but you're again you can probably get that it's, i think i still think these two are um are, are, are better so that, that's just a tip that I would say. Then you, I, I didn't even go over this one yet, but it's um it's for the rallied army attack at 20% and defense. So I mean this is, it's not a bad one to have. Um, that's something if you know if you're if you are rallying somebody, you can just pop this on real quick, use that to get that extra 20% um, and be good to go. But you're already getting the 20% on this one as well. Um, plus the army size, rally size. This one you're getting total health, total attack. So um, you know six to one half dozen the other as the saying goes. But uh, it's just one tip that I wanted to show you. Next, I want to go into the recruitment pass. Um, just uh, very briefly in here, um, just something if you, you know, you forgot that you can change, you know, if you do purchase the uh, the two, um, you know, the um, hero and the uh, legendary down here, you can change the um, the commander that you want, the commander that you're trying to get. So right now I'm still working on Annie. I've almost finished her to get to uh, uh, get her to gold, but um, you can change it to any one you want. Um, make sure you do the daily challenge. I'm sorry. Yeah, the daily challenges as well. You know, there, you can see here um, they have the coins next to them to show the ones that you need to get done. Um, and then you also have the the, ma the big challenges. These ones give you the most. You can see 12,000 here, 15. I'm sorry, 12,000, 1,200, 1,500. Those are really good. Make sure you clean up those completely. Um, then that's just an introduction for you. But the, when you go to the shop, um, just a little tip in here is if you're um, for the exteriors, once you get the uh, uh, the castle exterior coupon, which you have to, you know, it's going to cost you um, 100 black diamonds, just that very first hero decree. Um, then this is the new castle they just came out with, which is the unyielding uh, black, uh, castle black. Um, as you can see, the, uh, you know, the different um, uh, bonuses you get for it. Um, I've recommended just passing on that and not getting that if you do it. Um, you can because it actually is a, it's a cool looking castle. I like the animation on it. Um, however, I would recommend um, I recommend buying the silent prayer for the coupon um, using that for that because you get 75,000 blue diamonds for that and in that case you can get about uh, eh, 10 to 12 uh, of the uh, epic tokens to upgrade on your your awakening so um, make sure you do that as well the pass coins now this is based on what you have and what you don't have so I would suggest not doing Winton because since he is since he is already in the um, since he's already in the uh, the pass itself and you can upgrade you can upgrade his medals through there um, if you know Uma the she was in there um, if you you know if you need to finish her off to get her to gold that's I, you know, it's not bad in here for only 70 of those coins um, and then the other ones you need of course depending on when you started the game you know Obin, Barrett and Egbert you know those are good ones to, to try to get up there and then as you make your way, way down you have these uh, uh, these troop medals you know uh, you're, if you hover over, you can always look at the, you know, look what you need, look what you're trying to get to, you know, max this out if you can, um, you know, because you're going to get that at the very bottom, you get a rally size expansion, plus you get an army carrying capacity, plus all the spear stats, which is good there, you know, the cav stats here for the cavalry, and the bowman stats aren't that great, but at the very end, again, enemy army attack reduction is 6%, plus you get uh, the rally size expansion of 10,000, which is great too. If you haven't been able to, you know, complete your albums, um, you can do that here. They're a little more expensive for a hundred. Um, and at the very end, I would suggest just, uh, you know, 
filling up. You can see that I'm sold out. I bought, I purchased all 30 of them. So any any further that I get on this, I'll I'll just save up the 300 and get to the friendship chest. But I the honor banners are just more difficult to get in my opinion. So um, and you you know they cost a lot once you get into higher levels. So you know it's only one of these for I believe it's 100 to get uh, one of the honor banners. But um, it's worth it. It's worth getting an extra 30 of them in here. And then once you do that, move over to your friendship chest. One thing that I had mentioned, I believe I had mentioned before, but I want to uh, just reiterate because I think it's very important, is um, so when the battlefield um, event comes up, make sure that you obviously do all of the tasks that it, that it asks you to do in here because it's, I mean, they're giving you free friendship chests, free speed ups, um, and then also these uh, Death of John Aaron shards that you can use to upgrade your uh, your photo album. But when you get to spin the wheel, you ha this is where you have that opportunity to get these badges. You get three. You get a, a ton of badges in here. Um, so highly recommend doing that. Um, I can't stress how important that is because the badges are more the, one of the more difficult ones to get unless you save up with the uh, you know the alliance coins or buy them with the blue diamonds. Which uh, alliance coins I would I would say absolutely do that. You know get a million of those and then grab ten badges and then um, you know, from the Alliance coin shop and actually do it during the Alliance mobilization and, you know, double up on that as well. Um, but also remember that, um, you know, from the recruitment pass, you can get these, um, you can get the uh, seven color diamonds to be able to use them for these spins. So if you do get the seven color diamonds in there, don't claim them until this day comes up, um, you know, because that, that's, it's a, it's on a what a Thursday I believe it is, but when this so when this comes up, that that's when you want to claim all those diamonds and use 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 them all and and get a hopefully a, a bunch of those badges to be able to upgrade your uh, your commander. So we're in the Weirwood Memories, and this this event comes around uh, once a month, and I wanted to just uh, there's so many videos out there about well, you know how to beat certain levels and how to do this how to do that. That's fine. I've um, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get into that. I just wanted to show, um, you know, some uh, just a little tip about, you know, if you want to do this stuff on your own and you don't want to, you know, look up some videos and you kind of want to just kind of figure it out for yourself. Um, so f um, just a little tip here. So if you, you know, say, say you click on Enzo here at the 210 and you see it says effective conditions. So now we're talking about male commanders. So all those male command, if you put a male commander in that formation that you're going to use, it'll give you a defense of plus 30%. Now that is just for this stage and the stage alone. So if you click on the next stage and we go over here, you can see that there's 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 no no bonus in this one, nothing at all. And then you can click on the next one, go down, and now we have the um, infantry and bows are going to do an extra. I'm sorry, going to attack of the enemy is going to get 40%. So the enemy will lose 40% more when these uh, these two type of troops attack. So that just kind of gives you an idea. So if you're up here in the epic, you know, if the very one of these, actually I can't even click on them because I don't do that. Um, but you can, uh, that's what you want to do. Um, and the reason that I don't have the epic uh, completed is what I do is I get to the, the, the second stage, 215, the very end of Elite, and I just blitz this once I get it done. So I get 325 um, per blitz that I get in there. So for me, that just, that's enough for me to get what I need to get. So when you click on the shop, um, I, don't, I have Hector already gold, so I'm not getting any uh, gold any medals from Hector um, I go for the epic tokens the epic general tokens in here you get 10 of those so that's going to cost me 63,000 um, of the of the, of the uh, of those tokens to be able to do it the weirwood tokens and then I scroll down to the bottom and I get the friendship chest and that's the last thing that I get so that's another uh, six times three uh, yeah so it's another how what 180,000 that's a lot actually so but that's a, so you're going to do 180,000 here plus the 63,000 but uh, you know you could keep going I could have kept going up to the epic here and I kept you know working through as you can see the one up here is 240 for the very beginning but you can you get the quest bonuses as well you know you can go through these the I'm sorry the daily bonuses here and the quest ones too um, that I don't have you know obviously I don't have these finished because I didn't get to 315 312 36 33 and you get 500 on those so that's another what 5 10 15 2000 2500 so you get another uh, 2500 actually up of coins up here which like I said I just think it's uh, I, I, I just go through the event as quickly and efficiently as possible and that's kind of how um, kind of how I did that one just a quick tip on the Alliance mobilization so when that event came up it usually had an icon up here or it was in one of the events you know the events icon well um, right now um, the, it's in the cross server page you click on the cross server you come over here to where these are and you scroll the whole way down and it's it's right in there and that's where the uh, uh, that's where it is at this point um, 
a, a quicker way that I found to getting that, just going down here to your Alliance tab, and then it's at the, right up here at the top, and just click on that, and boom, you're there. So it gets you there a little bit quicker. And one of the last tips that I want to uh, that I want to give to you is just if you click on your uh, your VIP level up here, and you click on your Honor token. Um, if you've purchased this, you get uh, 28 days worth of these bonuses. Of course, um, something we've gone over. I've gone over before, um, but you also get these um, these coupons to get off black diamonds, and you get the uh, when you claim this, you get the mark of the dragon. You get, you get 50 of those, plus you get the S uh, Universal tokens. You get 10, and this is a weekly reward, which is fantastic. But uh, what I what I suggest is find what you want. You know, commander-wise, like if you're trying to get one of these commanders, you know, to gold, and you're working on them, well, find out which one you want the day you want it on, then claim that token, because it'll it'll always be there for that entire week. Obviously, don't wait the entire week, because um, then you'll lose it. Um, uh, but make sure you use it, to, you know, because you can get uh, the 25, you know, you can get 50% off of uh, any one of these commanders. And like you said, right now, I mean, Ray, she, they don't have, you know, if you get a bonus for her or a discount for her, get 25 off um, as well, um, you know. The the patella, Patelo is not here. Um, uh, he was here early. He was here yesterday, I believe. But now it's so it's race turn. So he was only here briefly as well. But um, like I said, just make sure that when you're uh, you're ready to do it, to claim that and to be able to get that uh, get that discount. No no reason to spend uh, you know more money than you have to uh, when it comes to getting those commander medals.